It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Jets and the New England Patriots coming up next. Autumn has come to New England. No place like it on earth this time of year. We are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway in Foxborough. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. And after an Achilles injury robbed him of playing most of last season, He's hoping this year can set himself up for a possible fairy tale ending in what has been an inevitable Hall of Fame career. We know it won't be easy, but the Jets have great optimism not only for Aaron Rodgers, but for the team. If he plays the full season, they believe they're truly a playoff team. Right to the air is Rodgers. He gets that to the longtime Charger. It's Mike Williams. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. On right, first down, right back to Hall. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second and 10. Paul again. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. You got to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The seventh play now, this opening drive. This is third and long, though. To throw, it's Rodgers. 
Pretty good job escaping the pressure. Gets him 15 yards on the scramble, but now it's fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Zerline's kick is up and through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So here come the Patriots to take over for the first time, led out by the rookie, the third overall pick back in April out of UNC, and that's Drake May. And it's been a long time, but this franchise... Entered the offseason desperately needing a young quarterback to build around and plan for the future. And they found their guy in Drake May out of North Carolina. Big arm, great mobility, terrific character. He's everything you're looking for in a quarterback. It may bring him along slowly, but I believe in time, he will be their QB1 and be there for a long time. He finds Douglas complete. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Gibson here running out of the gun. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 44-yard line, here's a second down at six. From the gun, it's May. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. First down pickup by Hunter Henry, and that's something he's been doing throughout his career. He's produced at least 35 catches at 400 receiving yards in all but one of his previous eight seasons, and the Patriots are certainly hoping to see more of that and then some in year nine. Throwing here is May. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. One of the league's best linebackers, he ended that play almost before it began, and the running back absolutely overmatched no matter what he tried to do. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. 
Call it a loss of two there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. A give running right is Hall. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. And hey, we often talk about defensive end setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a cornerback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. To throw is Rodgers. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Devontae Adams, 31 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who are in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. The drive summary that time, five plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception.
So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. From the shotgun, it's May. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To the air, May. Short pass caught by Henry. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They'll come up now third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's Bryce Beringer now. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now Rodgers, able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down and six now. Here's Hall again. And he'll have a Jets first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. And it didn't take long for Hall to remind everyone just how special a player he is. He totaled nearly 1,600 yards from scrimmage a season ago. And he appears to be picking up right where he left off as he moves the chains for this offense. Rodgers now to throw. Out to the right here to Wilson. They were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You just got to pick up a holding call. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. 
Here's Rodgers to throw. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter, as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route, and he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. Rodgers throwing quickly out to Adams. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it'll be second down. Uh, give to Hall running right. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. They allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Throwing now is Rodgers. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Mike Williams from three yards out. And the Jets had six to their lead. That score was not a game clincher by any stretch of the imagination. But the other team now has to be careful to not let this game begin to slip away. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that one a long 11-play drive. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can a I think you just called it desperation time. <laughs> I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's a second and eight. Here's May, and that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll run with Gibson. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here's Bryce Behringer on now to punt. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Jets' offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. All again on second down. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Open man here is Conklin, and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. 
So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Rodgers going to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Rodgers. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 14. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for not. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. They'll run with Hall. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? From the two now, second and goal. Ball again. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it and catch it. And he gets it done. Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead is now 24. A 10-play drive that time. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. New England trying to get into place on offense. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because 
Only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 8 from the shotgun. May with it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This now a third and four. They'll throw with May. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and the deficit will stay at three scores. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Jets offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to him with another drive here. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Shotgun now for Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. That will be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. 
He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Throwing here is May. Short pass caught by Henry. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A promising sign there from an offense that hasn't done a whole lot to this point. Nice job to locate the open receiver. And it's good yardage and a first down to open the drive. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. To throw, it's May. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. And we'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative. Because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. Second half starts with a run by Gibson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. Look at a throw. May. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half. This carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there, and there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out.
So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Rodgers. This completes a Corley. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll give to Hall. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. They'll go again with Hall. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They'll look to run with Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets have opened the lead up to 30. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the Patriot offense back out getting set to go. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point. And on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook, but bottom line is don't quit competing. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Again, it's Stevenson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, 
not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now we've got a third and three. Now Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Anthony Jennings coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. The Patriots offense and Ramondre Stevenson getting set for this next drive. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. 
third and long that time. He was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation. And they took advantage of the young man right there. This offense and their running back headed back onto the field. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. To throw is Rodgers. Now he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from 21 yards away. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Finding Bourne here over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Here's a second and three now from the 33. A give up the middle to Gibson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Stevenson now on first and 10, and just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Now second and nine. Straight ahead, Gibson. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. 
Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 35, here's second and nine. To the air, May. And he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. From the gun on third down is May. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there. But, you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When, does, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Hall again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring them down in the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play, and we just saw an example of it right there. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Second down in the yard. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. They'll run with Hall. A little juke. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. 116 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Rodgers now to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. 
But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Here's Rodgers. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And they did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter. And a big deficit, Charles. But they move the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. Yeah, and I know in their minds they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line, partner, to put points on the board? So if you're moving it and you're not scoring, is it really working? Right now, they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for broke. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man is born. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Second and five. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. This offense so far on third down, just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This will be third and five. Here's May. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The Patriots send out their punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Yeah. 
And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. The visitors' offense and Brees Hall headed out onto the field. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. We paid this offense plenty of compliments already, but I mean, they are deserving as they start another series to be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth. Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and you have to think to yourself, the preparation that went into this, but the absolute focus that they kept throughout in order to have this kind of a result, this is Super Bowl-esque, and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today. On first down, right back to Hall. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 155 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. New England's offense set to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Escaping the press. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Quinnen Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Nightmare of a game continues for this quarterback. Brought down with the game already decided. This sack adds insult to injury for him. Multiple turnovers. Down by multiple touchdowns. Now dumped early in a drive in the final quarter. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Third and eight. Back 
back to throw here. And that will be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Patriots send out their punter, standing right on his own five-yard line. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. This offense making its way back out, led by their running back. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe... Yeah, you've taught me this before. Maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them. Protect them. Take care of the ball. Move it downfield. Run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 181 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he continues to put a hurt on this defense. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Here's Hall again. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Ball on a give up the middle. And down to the 44, five yards that time. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Throwing now is Rodgers. That one taken in by Corley. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll bring up fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So Rodgers will depart and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets field goal. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Yeah. 
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while. But everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. Here's a second and seven. He's going to let it fly. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They'll throw with May. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football, and that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their route. And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack, a very short sack, taken down at the two. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory.